friends welcome to my channel my name is Wolo I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel and have seen my videos I love to share useful information about life in Canada immigrating to Canada and anything useful for people today I'll be sharing information about the changing trends of the Canadian immigration system I'll also be sharing um, websites of recruiting organizations that recruit people from outside of Canada. So um, I'm talking about the changing trends of the Canadian immigration system because a lot of pilots are being launched um, recently. Um, the first one was the rural and northern immigration pilots that was launched. I'll also be leaving the process map of the rural and northern immigration pilots so that you can see what the process is going to look like. And then secondly, um, the, recently they launched the Agricultural Pilot Program. So the Agricultural Pilot Program is to employ um, farmers or people who work in the farm to come to Canada and work as farmers. The criteria, the eligibility criteria has not been announced yet. I think it's also gearing towards um, farmers or owners of farms in Canada going outside of Canada or recruiting people outside of Canada to come as permanent residents to come work in their farms. Like I said, the eligibility criteria has not been announced. So this is one thing that is already um, published that is going to take place, but the eligibility criteria has not been announced for it. The Canadian immigration system is based on points and based on so many factors like your age, your educational qualification, your language ability, your adaptability, and uh, your experience, your work experience. So a lot of that, those factors, they are standard. They remain the same. They don't change. That is making it difficult for people to pass through the normal express entry. And then for even the provincial nomination, um, the provincial nomination also has its own requirements and people are also finding it difficult getting provincial nominations except they get job offer there are recruitment companies in canada that go outside of canada to look for workers to come work in canada under foreign temporary workers or under work permit and i'll be sharing the websites of these um, recruitment organizations so that anybody who is outside of canada can also apply for jobs and just keep your fingers crossed, you may never know, um, you might get lucky, you might get a job and then come into Canada as a work permit holder. Now, uh, some of these companies, their focus is on the hospitality industry. So for anybody who is a chef or a cook, or if you know somebody who is working in the hospitality industry, the person can check these websites and apply for jobs from outside of Canada and uh, you might get lucky, you come into Canada to work in the hospitality industry. I also want to give an update on one of the last videos I did concerning um, nanny jobs where you can apply from outside Canada. Um, some people complained that their countries were not listed on the website and some people also complained of paying a fee to join the website. Now, um, if you don't find it comfortable paying a fee, you can also search for such jobs using the same parameters on the free websites like indeed.ca or you can connect with agencies. I also left the website of the agencies in the description box of that particular video. So if you can check that video, check the description box of the video, you will see some agencies that recruit um, nannies from outside of Canada and you can link up with these agencies, send your resume to them and keep your fingers crossed. You may never know you can get a job. Somebody sent me an email of getting a job and um, the person is in the process of uh, processing his work permit to come into Canada. So these are the information I share for people who plan on immigrating or coming to Canada in different pathways. Um, I hope you find this information useful. I also want to mention that, please, I am not in any way affiliated to these companies. 
I have done my due diligence on these companies and they don't they do not charge any fee for people applying just put in your resume and apply for these jobs and um, you might get lucky if you get the job you can come into Canada in addition to that there are also free job search websites where you can search for jobs in Canada and I would suggest you target communities that are not so popular also target the communities that have been listed under the rural and northern immigration pilots target these communities and apply for jobs and you may never know a, an employer will contact you based on your skills and based on your experience based on your expertise and will be willing to give you um, a work permit to come to Canada for people who are finding it difficult getting a provincial nomination and also coming in through the normal express entry because of the stringent requirements the next best option is to search for a job and there are several free job search websites where you can search for a job and you just have to keep searching for a job until you find an employer that will be willing to employ you and when you get a valid job offer you can then um apply for a work permit coming to canada as a work permit holder or you use the valid job offer in your express entry profile and then you get an invitation to apply and come to Canada. This is the information I want to share and I hope you find it useful and you can share this information with everybody you know. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.